This week, Alex is going to be helping a network manufacturing company develop a template to speed up the process of developing customer quotes. Work is already well underway. Alex has already created a sheet to hold the current price list and he has created another sheet to contain the quote itself. This contains a table, some data validation and some conditional formatting. What the customer is looking for is that the sales engineers can enter the minimum amount of information, so just the item code, a location code and a quantity and have all the rest of the information automatically populated. To do this, Alex is going to use some of Excel's lookup functions and that's what we're going to be focusing on this week. Now the first piece of information we're concerned with is a description of the installation location. The sales engineer is going to simply enter a code 1 through 5 and what we need to do is get one of these descriptions to populate automatically. So number 1 is building core, 2 is data center, etc. Now a function that can help us with this is the choose function. Choose works by retrieving a value from a list based on a given numeric value. And that's exactly what we have here. We have a number describing our location code and we're going to use that to retrieve one of these values based on position. Let's watch it in action. So we're going to click into C6 and type equals CHO and then press tab. The first value that Choose is asking for is an index number. That is the numeric value that's going to provide the position within the list. And in this case, it's our location code. So we're going to click on that. Note the referencing. That's because we're working in a table. Now I type comma. After that, we have to specify our list. This can be up to 254 items and you can either type it in or click on values in your workbook. We have all the values in the worksheet, so I'm going to click on building core, comma, data center, fiber distribution, main floors, and finally remote office buildings. Make sure that you comma separate them, but don't put an additional comma at the end. Now I also need to make these absolute, so I'm gonna just select all of them and press my F4 key. The one thing to be aware of is you can't just select K6 to K10. You have to individually list each list item. Right, I can now close my brackets and when I click enter, because it's a table, this formula is going to automatically copy down. And there we go. We now have the correct installation location description for each of our different locations and a little bit of conditional formatting to divide the data and make it look nice. So the choose function is a good choice when you need to do a lookup from a very finite list that is not likely to change very often. We're going to see in a moment though that we have much more complex problems we need to solve and the choose function is not going to be the right lookup function for these. So in the next few videos we're going to look at some even more powerful and versatile lookup functions.